top 10 favorite scenes from My Liberation Notes. Almost every scene of My Liberation Notes has a specific detail beautifully encrypted into it. This is a story of damaged and honest people. So it's undoubtedly difficult to pick and choose favorites. Following is a series of simple yet profound and innocent scenes that almost everyone might relate to. One, the silent scenes. These are the scenes that make my liberation notes different from every other drama that I have watched. The authentic characters and their uniqueness will start to grow on you slowly. One cannot expect life to always be exciting and bustling with activities. There are times when we have to choose silence over anything else for peace of mind. This silence is more prominent in the first few episodes of the drama. The summer sounds encapsulate the scenes during the family's farm work, their meals, or during the brutal hours of the horrid commute. Finding peace within the silence will ultimately lead to finding joy. To worship me. In the second episode, Yomi Jeng asks Mr. Gu to worship her. This iconic scene reveals the reason behind the melancholy that surrounds Mi Jeng and her siblings. They have never felt whole in their entire lives and want someone to make them feel that way. A sincere relationship with respect and reverence is all the main leads are looking for. Mi Jeng's past relationships as have all been full of betrayals and disrespect. This scene is mentioned throughout the drama as it holds great significance. The couple eventually gets better at worshipping each other. The drama fandom calls them the worship couple. 3. The Liberation Club Mi Jing once says, I don't know where I am stuck, but I want to break free. As one of her first steps to break free, Mi Jing forms a club of her own with the people not interested in any of the company's clubs. They try to find the answers to questions left hanging unanswered for a long time. A genuine friendship develops between people of a similar mindset. The scenes surrounding the formation of Liberation Club depict the situations each of the main characters is stuck in. Some are stuck in toxic relationships, while others trying so hard to find a suitable partner because they are of age. They do not realize that they are alienating people in their surroundings as they are caught up in these situations. Four. Something good will happen to you today. The siblings' horrid daily commute to their home in the countryside remains a big part of the show. That is the time when they sit down and reflect on every single thing surrounding them. There is a billboard that they often see from the subway. It says, something good will happen to you today. The billboard is there every day and so are the people seeing it. To be precise, Gi Jeng views the billboard differently each day. Some days she curses the billboard. Some days she makes wishes while looking at the billboard, wishes that will make her feel good if they came true. Some take photos and send them to their loved ones to cheer them up. At the end of the day, it's all about your everyday outlook on life and how you view things. 5. Retrieving Mi Jeng's hat. The wind makes Mi Jeng's hat fly over a bridge. She has to walk a long distance to get it back on a hot, humid day. While Ching He says that he will bring it back, Mr. Gu insists on doing it his way. Even though his foot is hurt, he jumps over the bridge to get Mi Jeng's hat. This is the moment when everyone is left surprised by Mr. Gu's athletic skills and we start guessing what his past must have looked like. This is the first time he does something out of the ordinary. This scene is crucial as it shows Mr. Gu might have started breaking the shackles holding him down. 6. Clanking the bottles, Mi Jeng is disturbed thinking about abruptly opening up to Mr. Gu when she doesn't even know his name. So, she stays out late for the first time to avoid embarrassment in front of Mr. Gu. That makes her miss the last bus to Sanpo, and she arrives at the village late into the night. Mi Jeng comes across some drunk men on an empty street and feels threatened. While we might think Mr. Gu is a drunkard who couldn't care less about Mi Jeng, he arrives as her savior when she is in danger. He clanks his soju bottles to make Mi Jing aware of his presence. A feeling of relief washes over Mi Jing as she safely heads home. 7. The Wild Dog Episode 14 has to be one of the most layered and deeply meaningful episodes. The scene with Yo Mi Jing and the Wild Dog in Dark shows that she has become absolutely fearless in Wei. She is ready to embrace death whenever it shall come to her. Later on, we see that Mi Jing has to embrace death, but not her own. Her mother dies and she needs the same amount of courage to deal with the loss. The screen turns black and white the moment Mi Jeng sees the ambulance outside her house. It emphasizes the effect of a loved one's death on Mi Jeng. 
this has to be one of the best juxtapositions of life and death in the entire drama. 8. Inexplicable Hunger My Liberation Notes shows lots of scenes of the three siblings conversing casually, sometimes about meaningful things, while sometimes random topics. Every character is deeply layered with profound words and thoughts, but one of the conversations that will strike you is of the sisters. Gi Jeng once says that, I am hungry, but there's nothing I want to eat. Mi Jeng replies, Then it's not food you want. You can take out any meaning you want from these lines. There are times when we feel hungry, stuck, and lost and keep trying to satisfy ourselves with something that we do not want. Being satisfied without being self-aware is just impossible. 9. The Reunion Mr. Gu and Mi Jeng's reunion is endearing to watch if you have followed their journey from the beginning. Both stand on the bridge smiling at each other as if they have become whole just like they desired to. The genuine smiles are clear proof of their love. Both do not say much except a few compliments about each other's appearances. Their giggles and compliments will make you feel warm and fuzzy all over. We can say they did get significantly better at worshipping each other. 10. Mr. Gu's Confession This is not a usual confession. It's the confession of someone's love who is aware of the worst in him. Mr. Gu is afraid of himself and his unpredictable future. He knows that something might happen any day coming that might not let them stay together. It will end up hurting both of them when they part ways. But regardless, he tells Mi Jeng the most important thing. He lets her know just how much he likes her and how he feels about her.